A very good morning and welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm in the classic Cotswold village of Lower Slaughter, one of the prettiest villages in the region and one of my favourites. The word slaughter might sound a bit menacing, but don't worry, it's not really. The name of the village of Lower Slaughter stems from the old English name for a wetland, a sloth, or a slothra. I've put the spellings below, which is Old English for muddy place upon which this village lies. This quaint village sits beside the little eye stream and is known for its unspoiled limestone cottages in the traditional Cotswold style. The stream running through the village is crossed by two small bridges and the local attraction is a converted mill with the original water wheel and it sells craft type products and is a lovely cafe. Lower Slaughter boasts a 13th century church of St Mary's, a 17th century manor house, now a luxury hotel, the water mill, which has been here since the Doomsday Book, and the fabulous Lower Slaughter Country Inn, where I'll be definitely visiting later for a drink on this warm, sunny afternoon. In 2011, Copse Hill Road, which we will visit a bit later, was named the most romantic street in Britain in a poll for Google Street View. So let's go and explore Lower Slaughter Village. So you see a lot of this um, wisteria plant growing around the Cotswolds. It's out in bloom at the moment and it's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. So this is, um, if you like, the centre of the village and some really classic traditional stone cottages here. And this area, I believe I'm right in saying, was where some of the film Emma, the Jane Austen novel, um, this is where it was filmed using these cottages. Um, it came out in, I think, 2020. So quite a recent film, worth watching. And yeah, it was filmed all over the Cotswolds and some of it was definitely um, filmed in Lower Slaughter. So yeah, so the building opposite here used to be a school. Um, and it's not a school anymore, it's the actual village hall. But here's Wisteria again, this time um, a white Wisteria. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And here's um, one of these two little bridges that I mentioned uh, at the beginning that cross the, the, I like to call it a river, but it's, it's a stream really. It's I, the, the, um, the little I, as in the um, E-Y-E, -E, but yeah, some lovely cottages over there. And the stream is fairly slow um, movement and I've seen some fish in here today. But yeah, you can walk along these little bridges and just pause for a moment and yeah, lots of people in the summer uh, flock around here to take photos and videos. I mean, look, that's just a classic um, image of Lower Slaughter. You see that a lot on postcards. Um, yeah, it's truly beautiful. And today it's not um, very busy. It's a sunny afternoon, um, Wednesday afternoon, um, May the 8th. So um, yeah, we're blessed with them. Um, not too many crowds around, but yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And it is, you know, quite a busy village, cars go through it. So there's a little bit of noise around, um, but hopefully you're um, picking up the sense of uh, serenity that the village has as well. So yeah, I mean, there's another classic view.
So here's the mill, Lower Slaughter Mill, um, that I talked about earlier, that was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Um, it's actually run by Gerald Harris, who apparently is a well-known jazz singer. And, um, yeah, it's a tea room, a bakery, and a gift shop, as well as a mill museum. Unfortunately, the day I've come today, um, they haven't quite opened for the season yet. So um, we can't go and have a look around, but um, I've been here before, and it's really interesting. I've got some really interesting um, things in here, uh, working, going back to the days of the working mill, all the way back to the 14th century. So yeah, and it's got a beautiful stream here. There's some lovely birds just flying around here as well, and little yellow wings, but I'm not sure what they are. If anybody can identify them, uh, pop it in the, uh, in the comments, please.
So this is one of my favourite places. It's the Slaughter's Country Inn, a fantastic restaurant, uh, cafe, bar, hotel. It's got some amazing grounds, which we'll go and visit later with a stream running at the back. Yeah, I recommend anyone who comes to the um, Lower Slaughter coming to the Country Inn. And as we cross the bridge, this is that um, street I mentioned earlier, voted as the um, most romantic um, street in Britain, as by, uh, I think, 20,000 people voted for it on a Google uh, campaign. So, yeah, it's a lovely little place just to walk around. And there's the uh, hotel grounds just in the distance there. And then I think if we just um, head across the road now, we'll come to St. Mary's Church. Um, beautiful church, uh, originates from the 13th century. It was rebuilt in 1867 by the Lord of the Manor, Charles Shapland Whitmore, I think his name is. So let's go inside the parish church of St. Mary and have a look round. So this magnificent building is the Slaughter's Manor, um, built in the 17th century and absolutely gorgeous. It's a, a luxury hotel now, and fabulous restaurant. Again, it's got amazing grounds and um, it's got a coach house to the side that you can also stay in. And um, yeah, it's a real a real luxurious uh, place to stay and um, great to come for just afternoon tea um, cream tea or just you know a drink um, expensive but yeah I mean um, beautiful so I recommend uh, this has been on your bucket list if you're visiting Lower Slaw to at least pop in and um, check it out
So this is, uh, yeah, Copps Hill Road, again, mentioned it a few times. Voted the most uh, romantic street in Britain. So, um, yeah, it's just a little lane that joins up to the hotel, um, the Slaughter's Country Inn. Uh, obviously you've got the eye here, more of a river here. Um, it's a bit wider here, but um, we're going to come up to the uh, inn and then I'm going to show you uh, the grounds. And that will be the end of our tour of Lower Slaughter. So let's go and have a look. So we're now in the um, beautiful grounds of the Slaughter's Country Inn and um, I'm going to be um, ending the video here today by having a, a drink uh, outside, maybe on the patio, although it looks a bit busy today. But it's a beautiful shady area as well if you want to get away from the sun. I really recommend coming to the Country Inn. It's got 31 rooms, 15th century originally, it was three farmhouse cottages. Uh, all being uh, converted into a single house, I think, in the 1920s. At one stage, it was also a cramming school for Eton, the uh, world-famous public school. But, yeah, on a sunny afternoon, there's nowhere better, I think, than having a cold glass of wine or a beer at the uh, Slaughter's Country Inn. Absolutely beautiful. Well, that's pretty much the end of this uh, tour of Lower Slaughter in the Cotswolds. I say I'm going to go over there and have a well-earned drink. Um, I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber already, thank you for your support. If you don't subscribe yet, please consider it. It's free. It helps the channel. All you've got to do is click that little notification bell and you'll never miss another video. And yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. I am going to be going here from here to Upper Slaughter, um, which is another village just about two miles away, and I'll bring you that video um, fairly soon. But for now, it's Lower Slaughter, and um, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye for now.